Hello guys, Rob here. In my last video, I showed how you can use Blocks.io and Scatter to get up to five free transactions per day using Blocks CPU. And with EOS CPU still being in congestion mode and people still having problems, I've been seeing the people saying, I can't trade because I don't have enough CPU. But you can trade on Blocks.io with Blocks.io CPU. So just like you can send transactions on Blocks.io using their CPU, you can also trade on Blocks.io using their CPU. So let's get into how to do that. First here I have my Synthios to Rob account. That is the account I am connected to Blocks.io with right now. I intentionally maxed out my CPU here. I only have half a millisecond worth of CPU left, so I can't send any more transactions, or at least the transactions I wanted to do. I just don't have enough CPU. So I'm going to use this account, which is pretty much maxed out on CPU. It won't let me send transactions. I'm going to use Blocks.io and their free CPU feature to send a trade on new decks. First thing I want to do, just like in the other video, come up here, click on my account, and make sure the free CPU is clicked on. It is. I have five transactions left in which Blocks.io will pay for my CPU costs. And next, in order to get to the exchange, there is the DEX button right here. So once I click DEX, it'll pull up new DEX right within the Blocks.io site. And so now I am connected to new DEX within Blocks.io with the Sendios to Rob account. I am on new DEX in the EOS EOS market. You can see I have 4.5 EOS with an EOS balance of 0 0.1401 just going to fill the bid here 604 max that out this is going to give me 0 0.0272 EOS my EOS balance here will increase by that number click sell wait for scatter to pop up and you can see in the scatter transaction tipped tipped which is blocks.io is paying for the CPU and then I am putting in the new dex order click allow okay so after I clicked allow you can you can see I threw an error but if we look at my balances, I have no EIDOS left and my EOS balance has increased. So the trade went through. Let's go back and look at my account here. And we can see the trade went through. Sendios to Rob, I sent those 4.503 EIDOS to Nudex. The trade got filled. Nudex sent me the 0.0271 EOS. So the Nudex order executed using Blocks.io CPU. And we can see that within the transaction, tipped, tipped, paid for CPU for the transfer of the 4.5 IDOs from my account to Nudex's account. That 2.77 milliseconds I did not have because I only had 0.6 milliseconds left on this account. But luckily, I was able to use the free CPU feature on blocks in order to send that trade. So I hope that helps those of you out there that were having trouble with trading on new decks because you were out of CPU. You can do it through Blocks.io. And if you haven't ran into that issue yet, it's always good to know that you can trade through Blocks.io using their CPU if you are ever out of CPU and you need to make a trade. So that's it for this quick one, guys. Have you checked out Telos yet? Thanks to the Telos Economic Development Plan, an extra 1 million TLOS tokens are supplied to Rex stakers each month, giving a current Rex return of over 21%. Resources on Telos are really cheap right now. You can see that one TLOS can borrow 2,918 TLOS for 30 days. Due to the congestion on EOS, we have seen increased interest from EOS dApps in Telos. If you would like to learn more about Telos, get your free account and learn how to Rex your TLOS tokens, check out the link in the description. This message on Telos is brought to you with the support of the Telos community via the worker proposal system. But that's it for me guys. I will see you in the next one.